What's going on guys, it's Jeff for Premium Aquatics and today we're going to be taking a look at Emmy Coral's Calcium and Alkalinity line of products. What's going on guys, we're back with another video and if you're new to what we're doing here on Premium Aquatics, this is where we take a look at new products each and every week to help you make an informed decision whether or not that product is right for you and your reef tank so if you're new to our channel hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can stay notified every time that we upload a new video so today we're looking at emmy corals alkalinity and calcium magnesium products so let's jump into it all right guys so we're going to jump into our emmy coral calcium and alkalinity video but before we get into what each one of these items can be used for and what they are good for but one thing that we do need to cover is anytime that you're talking about emmy coral products you need to mention the fact that it is a pharmaceutical grade product now in their calcium and alkalinity line every single product says pharmaceutical grade on it everything from their dry calcium and alkalinity packs all the way to their pre-mixed calcium and alkalinity even their magnesium as well as their calcwasser the importance of pharmaceutical grade versus industrial grade is very important when you are considering a reef tank and that is because we spend so much time purifying water making sure that our water is clean but when it comes to our additives and what we're putting into our tank are we always 100 percent sure of what we're actually putting into our reef tanks and i know that i would feel a lot more confident by using a product that says pharmaceutical grade as opposed to not mentioning anything at all because at the end of the day i know that i'm putting a product in my tank that is pure and it's not going to have a bunch of fillers in there and then junking out my water so that's always a very important thing to mention when you are talking about emmy coral products now as far as their calcium and alkalinity uh, these two items the bat the dried bags of products are pretty much the exact same thing as what you're going to get when you buy the liquid pre-mixed stuff. Um, I don't have a package of the dry magnesium, but it is available for you at Premium Aquatics. And these are essentially the same things. It's just how you want to buy it. So if you don't want to bother mixing anything and you have a smaller reef tank, you don't have a huge demand for calcium and alkalinity, at that point, these 32 ounce bottles are going to be perfect for you. And if you have a larger tank with a denser coral population, you're using up calcium and alkalinity faster than using these one gallon packets uh, may be the best thing for you. And then ME Coral also has the one gallon jugs that are pre-mixed and you can pick those up as well uh, one thing that you might want to do let's say the first time that you buy calcium alkalinity and magnesium you buy the jugs the one gallon jugs then after that you buy these refill packets and fill them up from there that's always an option that you can do as well calcwasser is a little bit different than these two products or these sets of products over here uh, calcwasser is if you're unfamiliar with it is basically a combination of calcium and alkalinity in one solution a lot of times what people do is they'll take this they'll mix it up and they put it in their top off reservoir so as water evaporates in their tank their auto top off kicks on and it introduces calcium and alkalinity into their tank there's, there's some constraints with this product but there's also some benefits as well uh, one thing that Kelkwasser will do is it will raise your ph um, so when you get to the point where you're needing more and more calcium in your tank but you don't want to have your pH out of range uh, you might need to move to the individual calcium and alkalinity dosing the calc washer might not work for you anymore but let's say that you're doing a calcium reactor and what happens with the calcium reactor is it tends to lower the pH in your tank at that point with a combination of using a calc washer in your ATO at that point you can actually raise back up your pH if it drops down too low so calcwasser really is kind of on the ends of the spectrum it's a good product to start with when you're starting to dose uh, calcium and alkalinity and it's also a good product to start using to balance out your ph uh, to keep it from going too low when you're using a calcium reactor for myself what i've been doing as of late is i've been using the dry packs and i've been mixing them up 
in one gallon jugs with RO water and then putting them in my dosing reservoirs and topping them off as needed. One thing that I definitely want to make sure that we stress in this video is that anytime that you're dosing anything in your reef tank, you need to make sure you're testing for that element. It is very, very important. You don't want to throw things off in your tank uh, by putting in too much calcium, putting in too much alkalinity, or not using enough magnesium, or even, you know, the old good old Kalkwasser. It's very important anytime that you're adding anything to your tank, you want to make sure you are testing the parameters of your tank both before and after. When it comes to maintaining a successful reef tank, it's very important to make sure that you make small changes over a long period of time. And that's really going to help you maintain and keep corals successfully. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I wanna thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified each and every time that we upload a new video. That's gonna do it for today. I'll see you guys next time right here with a brand new video.